Hello and welcome to Alpha's Take on Rank. I'm a little bit sick, so you'll have to bear over with me, but I'll try and make my best anyway. So, I managed to secure some replays from the Gaming Lion, who's on a 140, and it's of course Tunta map. And as a side thing, I might say that the Gaming Lion made it to rank 15 in 63 games. That's a number I could only dream of. So, let's see what he does in this game. He of course goes to the hill, which is mandatory is a big word, but I will go there too. The Fortress of the 140 is called the 522 Reload, shoots extremely fast. The buff actually gave it a little bit of armor, so if you can be in the correct place, you're definitely going to get a little bit of uh, bouncing going on. I think he's trying to sniff out how many is here, because if it's not too bad, you can actually cross over and get in a very good position towards the TVP and that stuff. There's a hold down Super Conqueror, it can be a pain. TVP decides to run. Gets one shot into the TVP, 310 shots, not the highest roll. And he gets one more in the 335. So, it seems like the other team actually didn't go this way. Which is a bit odd, since this is kind of the choke point usually at the map. Seems like a lot of the other team has been spotted underneath the 1-2 line and next to Cap, so they might have gone out to the 1 line. Mm, in my book that doesn't make a lot of sense, but... Meanwhile, they're ripping apart Mr. Salix here. Lion is up to 1200 damage. Also remember to go to the switch, check out the excellent gameplay. He delivers. I will of course put the address on the bottom. He's a really good player and a very good light player. So, looks like it's flanking time here. I think it's important not to push too hard. Because there's actually a lot of tanks in this little area. And probably a lot of nasty tanks. Like that one. Type 5 heavy, don't want to take a hit from. He of course tracks it to get the assist. So up to 2.6 and 600 assist. Fortunately he has no kills yet, but I'm sure that will come. 68 Martin supplied him with that kill. Or he's good shooting, you pick one. Goes the next one, so that actually brought him up to 3300. One kill and 1249. So, in case of a win, he's pretty sure of a Chevron already, I would say. But there's still plenty of meat on the bone. 14,252. So he decides to go underneath his own base, probably to make sure that they don't cap out. Not that they have intercap at all yet, but looks like their enforcer are strong enough to do it. Here's a bad chap. Gets one into the bad chat, avoids getting hit. Looking a lot around, but there's also a lot of tanks to keep an eye on here that you don't want to get hit by. Oh, 907 gets one. Close to 4k damage. Get some spotting damage for the badger. And he also managed to get one more into the bad chat. That's some nice shooting going on here. He wants to go up and say hello to the other one party from the enemy team. Who seem to have not seen him coming at all. Nice shot. Nice shot indeed. So let's see, there's 4800 HP left on the enemy team. Gaming Lion just took it up to 5200 and short of 2k assist. Of course has his one kill and with a little bit of luck he'll get one more now. Oh, that was unlucky. That was unlucky, but he's still there, he won't get away. So let's see how he kills him. Ooh, looks like a squishy kill. <laughs> well, that works, counts as a kill. That was the second kill. And 5,600 damage. I think he's getting pretty sure to get two Sharons, if of course they win. It's about 13, 1400 between them in HP. Gaming Lion's team is definitely ahead, but I still don't think it's a secure win. Well, we just got a bit closer there. 3 versus 5. And the Bat Chat. Where did the Bat Chat actually go? It's kind of weird he's been unspotted for that long. Oh, and there was the 110E3. He decides not to go out in front of that one. Seems like a good idea since he wasn't spotted. 
Um, wondering if you might want to flank around. I would guess so. They got the LT100 there, that should be able to spot them. Gaming line is asking the chat, T100, if you could fall back. I'm sure that's to make sure that they actually win. It's not a good idea to lose a tank at this point. Still no bad chat. I'm kind of wondering. And that's super conk. I feel like maybe the 5A could move up here with them. Well, that was the Super Kong at least. T100 managed to erase him, which is good. So, they're 5 versus 2. And there was the bad set, of course, going for the T100. So, he could be in a world of trouble. And here's the 123. It would be very good to get this guy tracked, of course. If he pairs, I think Lion can actually perma track him now. Yeah. And party's on. Free 123. This is not the funniest situation to be in for the 123, but that's kind of the issue when you turret loss, I guess. And he's just been eaten up. Next shot will bring gaming over 7,000. 45 is actually considering joining in the party here. I think he's too late. I think Game Line will definitely get him. Full 123 for breakfast. Life is good. Life is good. And here comes the bad jet. The only remaining one. And he gets that kill too. That was a lot of sweet shooting going on here. Holy crap. So, let's have a look at the result. We're not going to look at the medals, of course, since it's uh, rank. 7,847 damage and 4 kills, which racks up to 1,477 base XP and a plus of 47,160. Very well played. Let's see the next one. So, this is Glacier, of course. And Gaming Lang in here is in the T100 LT. So, Gaming Line wanted us to show us this one because this is what happens when your team loses and you try to still secure some Sharons, one at a minimum, which is nice of course, at least not lose any. So the first thing he does is of course he wants to spot everybody crossing. There's a lot of good players you can see on the W8 at least. So, should be a few possibilities here. And uh, first one on his team has already said, oh my god, lose. Just love those players. They already lost it before the game started. That's always nice. And here comes I7. And managed to get himself tracked on the top here. With not enough gun depression to actually do something about it. That's, that's not the smarter thing to do. It's actually racking up pretty nicely here for a gaming line with the assist. And he's even getting some damage in. Very nice shooting. And he gets the kill, of course. So, already off the bat. One and a half minute gone, and he's at 1000 damage. And 930 assist. And of course, he has that one kill. Not too bad, not too bad. It's one to one. The 3,300 after the enemy team, but at this point that should be insignificant. What I do notice, his team has moved up to A-line and it's pushing out there. Which in general means that you're going to be farmed from the guys in the middle here and up on the ridge. So I think that's a very hard place to move over, pushy at least. But maybe Gaming Line can use it to his advantage if they look the other way. Also 430U is getting up here. Help farming a little bit. Ooh, that's a 405. 277. Would be nice if anybody else also shot him. Oh, and he decides to go up on the glacier. It's a very cool place when you get up there, to be honest, because you have a lot of good shooting opportunities, but it's also a bit risky. He dodges one or two, bounces one even. He takes two hits, which is not too bad. And now he's on top of the world. Where everybody wanna be. So should be a lot of free shooting here. 
Let's see if we get some shots into the Super Congor, the 5A or something. Also, you don't want to be spotted up here because they're definitely looking for you to begin with. So. Meanwhile, his team has dropped it, so they're 8,500 behind, and it's 3 to 7. Managed to get the shot into the Super Congor. I'm pretty sure actually Gaming Line know this game is about to be lost. So he's just trying to get something in. And he kills Koopa is Beast. Well, Koopa is Beast, not in this game. Oh. Nine is up to two kills, 1800 and almost 1200 spotting. Blind shot, didn't connect. His team is kind of just melting away by now. Not really a lot he can do for the team. And here's the bad chat. Oh, he spots a lot there. Wonder if the bad chat is coming for him. Gets one shot into 50B and another one hits on his spot. Oh, that was unlucky. It's a hard ridge to work with the angle here. I'm pretty sure that was the already that actually hit the gaming line there. See if we can get some more shots in this one. It's a little bit of peekaboo. T100 LT is very fast. It's very funny. Doesn't have a lot of pen. I'm not very good at it, but I think it's very funny to drive. I think what he told me here is he's going down to see if he can get the T100 out pretty easily. Because he recognized the game is definitely lost now. So he just needs some damage and kills to get up to get some chevrons. This is the first shot, but so does the other one. Let's see. Gets a good shot in there. It's pretty, pretty aggressive compared to what he usually would be. And this time they already actually managed to splash him over. And he gets one more shot in. One more for the kill. He got the auto aim on him. Ooh. He didn't die. Come on, Lion. Nope. That was very unlucky, though. Very unlucky. But he really did the best. And this team has just crashed and burned. And the last one who's alive is the one that said in the beginning that this one was lost. OMG. So, he was right, but he was still alive at the end. So, what can you say? The result? Of course, we don't look at the medals, which there are none of, but uh, they lost. He managed to do 3,341 damage, 2 kills, and this racks up to 402. And actually, that was enough for him not to lose any chevrons, but 1-1. One, one. What can you say? Well played gaming, and we really enjoyed these games from you, and I hope people will watch your stream. Thanks a lot. See you. English one, the Russian one, but man pulled up in the German one. Two four fours in a four door truck, there's one on the right, on the left, there's one. We don't wait.